Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to Rebel Wi Fi Battle with George Rule, of course, the Scaranger. And today, we're going up against Gara, a good friend of mine and is a very, very funny guy in general on Twitter. So make sure to follow him, Benefit. He has his weird things going, and it's always a pleasure chatting with him. And I asked for a Yu Yu game, and he actually responded with, um, I'll say, a pretty fair Yu Yu team. It definitely is in the lower tiers, and. Uh, the team I'm bringing is actually the real team I was going to bring against Ashinaka a few weeks ago, or a few days ago, I'm sorry. Uh, which of course being a Cronon was not a part of the team in uh, front of Getco, but uh, I didn't really want to use Jarlos because it's kind of OP, and you guys are going to see just why. Um, his team here is uh, actually, you know, it's fairly balanced with um, Garbodor, Parion 2, Tentacruel, um, Aerodactyl, Yolteon, and Flygon. Uh, it's a very, very pressure team here. And from the get-go, it looks like my Embor, no, my Mammoth Squad would do really well. And um, there was really nothing threatening out Mammoth Squad outside of uh, Paragon. And uh, yeah, pretty much Mammoth Squad should do a hefty amount of damage here. And uh, if I get up one Dragon Dance, I should be fair or fine with Jardos, but that's not, uh, that's not something I'm gonna go for. I'm basically going to hope that Mammoth Squad works the best here. And hoping his lead is not a defensive one. So, yeah, with all this, my guys, of course, let's go. So, yeah, I mean, from the get go, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, I thought it was a very tough stunt for him of actually bringing Flygon, if anything, from the get go. So, he's gonna bring Draco Sex, who's gonna bring a Flygon, like I said there. And I'm gonna start with Lorelei, of course, the female Mammoth Swine, which usually was called Ex Wife. Now the thing is here, I directly go for an ice shot, not gonna risk his potential scuff. And um, yeah, that's flying on our way. From the get-go, I that was a tough play for him to make. It really was. Um, since I am, let's face it, it's very likely I had ice shards. So that was a tough transition for him. So he's gonna bring his stall EXE, which of course being a Paragon. And like I said there from the preview, there is really not a whole I can do here. Uh, I could go to Red Lord, the Metagross. Uh, the thing is, I have nothing hitting Paragon 2 that hard. And he's going to go for Shadow Ball, which was, um, that was just wow. I was like, okay, fine. Shadow Ball out of all things. So I was thinking here that I could go for some damage on it. Like, basically, Metagross is not going to do anything this game. But heavy damage on the Porygon would be kind of important. But I'm not doing that. Like, I really, really am not doing that. And I kind of figure out once the second Shadow Ball hits that. Right, wait. He... That's a, that's a ghost move. I have Hillisk. I have a normal type of my team. Why am I not switching out to Hillisk? And basically I'm going to switch out. Because, god damn it, why did I not do that from the first place anyway? Since he could go for potential try attack on the switch out because I also have heal. Luckily he goes for Shadow Ball and that's all fine and dandy. I'm going to lock myself into Hyper Voice, which is a basically a 50% hit on it. As he goes for a try attack. Now, try attack will actually do a hefty amount. Then again, you know, Hillisk is really not that bulky like that's it's definitely is struggling and here comes Mr. Stinky which of course being the Garbodor very nice victim of anything and Hyper Voice does definitely not enough which showed me it's most likely a Soul Fist and a Drain Punch is definitely in common even Gunk Shock would have been kinda bad I'm gonna go to Volstrat, my Jardos uh, hitting off the Intimidate if anything and we're gonna eat up that Drain Punch um, actually we eat that up really 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 nicely now the thing is I could set up here. I'm. He has enough on his team right now that could rival uh, my um, Jarados whatsoever, which is a good thing. And um, basically, like I said, I I just have to set up. If he's switching to Jolteon, which would have been risky, uh, he would possibly outspeed, but not necessarily. But of course, he's gonna trans the Intimidate, and that kind of pushes me back a little bit. Now here, I decide to go for a substitute because I was thinking that it might be in range where Paragon cannot break my sub, and if so, I could freely, freely go for Dragon Dances. So that's what, pretty much what I'm gonna do, because I need to be at least at around plus two to kind of force him out or kill him, um, since it's Paragon after all. And he's actually going for Recover, taking a chance of setting up or recovering back. Here's the thing though, I would probably not be in the range of taking it out anyway, so because of the his Intimidate on me. So that was actually the superior play. While I'm not particularly fond of it, I'm still kind of get it. So anyway, I'm going for another Dragon Dance here, and um, like I said, I was hoping his try attack was not strong enough to break my sub. And basically that was what I was going, going for, there was really nothing else I could do here. And uh, actually his try attack is going to break it. 
So that's unfortunate, but you know, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But at the same time, kind of frustrating that knowing that alright, even this weak son of a bitch is actually pulling through. So we're gonna go for waterfall. I really wanna see how much damage I do, and for the love of Christ, I'm not close to a two hit KO. And a try attack does I would say it doesn't really do enough to break my sub, is what I'm trying to say. So I kept going for Dragon Dance because I was so sure he's gonna recover here and then afterwards gonna go for a substitute. But he actually goes directly for another try attack. So I was thinking, alright, you do that, because now I should be in range of taking you out, and luckily I don't get any kind of hacks against me. But um, this was, you know, one of the worst battle weeks of uh, I had, and uh, I'm gonna go for that waterfall. And uh, the weak finds his way back, and he survives with 1 HP, and he's gonna go for a try attack, and he's gonna get a crit, and that's gonna take out my Gyarados. So, fuck that shit, and uh, basically, from here on out, I'm not going to battle any more weeks, but I know that I'm not one with the hacks. It's just, it's not possible. And obviously, now I'm forced to go into Saladin. Luckily, he is in range of HP where everything kills him. Like, you going down. But god freaking damn it, what are the odds? Yara's like, yeah, I'm the superior Yu Yu Mon, that like just get hexed away. So anyway, he's gonna go to his 10 tackles, and here's the thing I don't fear this Mon. Sludge Bomb should do a bit of damage, but not a whole lot. And this is gonna show me Toxic Sprite, which means that I kinda am forced to. Um, this is not that it's been on my team, that I at least need one Pokemon to be just poisoned. And due to my dry skin, I know he's not gonna go for a skull. He could go for a sludge bomb, but his finger's gonna go for another layer of spike. And I basically get Lorelei uh, poisoned here because it poison is better than toxic in this situation. So well, he's going for sludge wave, and we're gonna eat that up. We we really are, and I'm basically gonna go for an earthquake. He has enough on the team taking an earthquake well outside of Aerodactyl, but it could be risky for him with doing that play. And um, basically, he's gonna lose this because the thing is here. Ice Shard is kind of close of killing uh, Aerodactyl, so he could stall me out possibly, but outside of that, there was really no way he was going to make a good play out of that. So, yeah, Life Orb Poison does kind of whittle me down, and uh, my opponent is going to bring Volt Pest, which of course being the old Yon, and I was feeling that, alright, um, I still need my Mammoth Swine in case off, uh, so I'm just going to go to Red Lord with Scorpion Metagross. Because the thing is here, I can kind of sack it, but it goes for a Hyper Voice, and we actually live that with 1 HP. So I guess Hex is totally not in favorable. But like I said, there's really nothing my um, poor, poor Metagross can do. And with that burn, it basically means that he is Quick Feet. Quick Feet Yolteon. I haven't seen that in like forever. Now, Volt or Bullet Punch does a fair amount of damage, actually. I'm actually quite satisfied with that kind of damage. Um, but here's the thing. While Jolteon is a present, it's intimidating and everything, I still have Entei with extreme speed. It's still way back in my behind, and um, he's not gonna take a banded, uh, uh, a banded extreme speed, there's no way. So, while you know, I'll give credit to the quick feed Jolteon, sadly it was not made for this game and it's gonna go down, which is awesome. Never thought I would use Bandage uh, Extreme Speed, but it works out really nicely here. Now here's the thing, there is nothing uh, my NT can do outside of this in this battle anyway, so when it brought the Redactyl, I was thinking, alright, I might as well get some damage on it, nothing serious, and basically finish the game with the Mian Xiao, um, which I'm, for now I'm gonna call Legolas for um, its um, extremely nice accuracy in every given momentum. So anyway, I'm gonna go for the Extreme Speed, he missed the Stone Age, sadly, um, I was feeling a bit weird that I actually didn't go for a uh, Home Claw here just to you know secure that accuracy. But in the game, it doesn't really matter. And uh, we're forcing it down to 50%, and his Stone Edge is gonna connect. And that's one hell of a dead Entei if anything. It's not gonna take that, it's not even possible. God damn it. Entei, why? Legendary, my ass. So anyway, we're gonna go for Log Fellows. Like I said, I should name this thing Legolas. And we're just gonna go with the High Jump Kick and pretty much try to finish up this game. We do connect that. We do connect the high jump kick, I can't stress it enough. It does connect. God damn it. After his um, questionable accuracy, he's coming back. And uh, he's gonna bring the, his last Pokemon, which of course will be Mr. Stunky Stinky. And um, high jump kick actually does a lot of damage here. Um, it definitely is an area where I do believe I can take it out even after recovery of a Drain Punch. 
Now Drain Punch does a whole lot of damage too, which is never pleasant. But at the range I was feeling that, alright, we are probably in the area where I get taken out and it should definitely end up working in my favor. And we're going for a high jump kick and we do connect it a second time. But there are so many clutch lives in this game. They're like that that is like the third one that something survive with one HP, which is it's not you know, the worst, but at the same time it's just one of those things like why did that happen? So anyway, I'm just gonna finish off this game with Saladin and that is GG to Gara. Um extremely fun game if you ask me. I had a lot of fun with Benefit. So uh, yeah, I mean when all said and done, you know, I will give Gara this. I thought it was very, very cool of him to bring in a bit of a lower tiered teamers this battle because obviously um, I had a rather nifty, nasty um, offensive present against him, and uh, while I do win this battle, I won't deny that I think he played really nicely around it. Um, obviously, the live with Porygon 2 made this battle a lot longer than it should have been, but at the same time, it was kind of funny. Like, really, if I'm gonna upload a battle, I'd rather upload something that is kind of funny, and Gary is also, honestly, he's, he's a good player. And him using a lot of lower tiered mod only showcased that he's willing to take that risk. And um, I thought it was fun. Uh, definitely was a bit more of a, a unique challenge, one should say. And um, yeah, I mean, nothing more to it. Gara, like I said, very fun game. Good job, Venevin. And I hope we can battle very soon again because it's always a pleasure battling you. And outside of that, to everybody else who's been watching, I hope I can actually upload every day this week. Uh, I should be able to. Uh, my voice is back. Obviously, I'm not sick anymore, which is awesome. Uh, I've been waiting forever to kind of recover, so I'm glad that's kind of gone. And uh, I'm going to see a lot of tier battles, so I'm actually going to ask you guys from this video, because I haven't recorded anything else outside of the TBU match. Yes, that's already been recorded. Um, I want to ask you guys what tiers you guys want to see, and you want to see me play more competitively, or do you want to see me joke around a bit? So we'll make sure that, of course, um, write that down below and I'll read it and I'll actually try to consider it because I'm getting the feeling I'm getting kind of stiff and I need to go back to my training because I'm obviously been, we've gone for two weeks, has made me a bit sluggish when it comes to Wi-Fi battles. So I'm definitely going to get back, going to stream a lot more this week too. So anyway, I want to thank you everybody for watching. Like I said, make sure to write down below what you want to see from me and I'll see you in the next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.